I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're working on our spider web half pumpkin. So you can hang it or put it on a wreath or anything you want to. So let's get started. We're going to use a styrofoam pumpkin that you find at the dollar stores. I picked mine up at Dollar Tree and you're going to get two for the price of one. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut it right down that middle line where they actually glued it together. If you can cut your stem in half, think about that as well. So we're going to follow this line and I'm going to use a serrated knife like a bread knife and just cut that right down the middle I think I probably got it everywhere at my stem and try to stick to that line as close as you can and if that part comes apart just glue that part back together not a big deal at all get rid of all of the styrofoam as much as you can because that sticks on to everything and we're just using the front side of that pumpkin okay to do our spider webs we're going to do three three is always more pleasing to the eye and i'm just going to kind of outline them on them just a bit so i have an idea of where they're going I'm going to do lines down these creases and I'm going to do one in between and I'm going to do them different lengths. I'm not going to do them all the same. This is just a, an idea. If you don't follow it exactly, there's nothing wrong with that at all. And remember to bring these up when we do this curvature. That makes them look more spider webby. So we've got kind of the outline on the first one. And then I'm going to come over here. And actually, I'm probably going to make this one a little bit smaller. We can always add to it if we need to. I'm going to clean that up in just a second here. So we've got those three lines. And you can use those or you can do your own. Don't ever feel that you can't add to it or change it. There's nothing wrong with that. So now we're going to bring this one up from the bottom. And however wide you think it should go. I'm going to do it right about there. Because this, this web is upside down. And if you do your curvature of the spider web the other direction, it doesn't look right. So we're going to put our spider webs on with our glue gun. And we're going to be using our low temp setting. It's easier to make nicer, um, what do I call them, a nicer lines with a low temp as well as we don't want to melt the plastic of our pumpkin. So what we're going to do is I don't quite touch the pumpkin very, all the way. I just have it just above and that makes it so much nicer and smoother. Wipe it off on your glue gun pad and that helps get rid of the strings. But you don't want it so far up that it cools off before it hits the pumpkin. See those nice lines? See how good those are going on? So we're going to do all of these lines and then we're going to come back in and do our little ones in between. So now, and you can start at the top or you can start at the bottom, whatever you're more comfortable with. Remember we want these kind of on a curvature. So we're doing these all the way across. And then just continue to work them all the way up. And you're not going to get as many glue 
kills with these because we're not ending it as much in between but you will get some wait for them to dry and then go ahead and remove them and you can remove the with the tweezers if you need to next one I want to try and get a little bit more curvature than what I'm getting now and if they start to go a little bit straighter the closer you get up to the top of the web that is okay and you want them a little bit closer together I got that guy a little bit further apart than I should have get all rid of all of his tails so my next one I'm going to start at the top and work my way down but it's not perfect don't worry about it being perfect spider webs if you look at them after the wind's blown them a little bit they're not perfect so don't worry about them being so perfect so I'm going to go ahead and get these done and then we're going to start painting them now that we've got all of our spider webs on and you've picked up the other little spider webs and you don't have to pick them all because this is a spider web so if you want to leave them on that's just fine too for this one I picked a purple color and I'm going to use lavender by uh, folk art but this is a multi surface so it'll go over our plastic of our pumpkin and we're just going to brush this on and you're going to have to get down in between the spider webs. I'm just using an old brush. You can use whatever you want. And you might have to move at different angles to see if you got it all. And you may need two coats on this. This may not cover just in one. So you may need to go ahead and do a second layer on this so we're going to go ahead and base coat this all and I'm going to put two layers on but let it dry really really well in between each layer once our purple is dry and I did go ahead and put three coats on it we're going to put on extreme glitter again this is by folk art you can find this at Walmart and I'm using gold and I'm going to apply that over the top of the pumpkin I'm also going to put it on two of my leaves because I couldn't find these wonderful leaves again this year I should have bought lots more of those they never say the same but I just took some regular leaves and put the gold on those don't be afraid to find the leaves or look for them at the thrift store I found some beautiful ones some that were older they had different styles and everything so don't be afraid to try that also when you do the purple do that one layer in the back so if it happens to be laying a certain way you don't happen to see that white it shows up purple instead when you're putting on the glitter make sure that you don't leave real ridges and stuff kind of lay it all down and just kind of work it into the web the best you can don't worry about it and then we're also going to put some webbing on this one after our glitter is dry now that our gold glitter is dry you also could use gl uh, silver glitter on that because I'm going to use silver on the the um, web but I'm going to put some webbing on it this is Krylon webbing you can usually find it where the spray paints are but this is black webbing and when I'm putting it on I'm going to just put it lightly from kind of far away make sure you do it outside make sure there's nothing else that you care if the webbing gets on and then we have this real cool kind of spider webbing look and I really really like that so I'm going to put that on and then we're going to let that dry I've got to put the webbing on and you'd rather have little than too much a little goes a long ways but isn't that really cool just gives up that spooky kind of spider web feel we're going to be using Inca gold and this is a wax based product 
And I picked mine up at Joann's. You may have some other wax-based product. This is the silver. And I keep a little wet um, hand wipe in there to keep it from drying out. And we're just going to put this on our finger. And this is going to rub on our spider web so that our spider web shows up. And by putting it on our finger and a, not on a brush, we can control it just going on those upper parts where the spider web sticks out. Now if you get a little bit in between, as long as it is not real, um, does it doesn't really stand out, that's fine. That's okay. We want to get some of these middle lines as well. But we want that spider web to really show up. And once this is all done, we're going to take our spray varnish. It can be Kryon, it can be Rust-Oleum, any spray on. I just picked mine up, the least expensive at Walmart. I'm going to make sure that it is gloss and I am going to do one or two really good coats on it and then we're going to put it all together. Once your varnish is all dry we're going to go ahead and do our pumpkin stem and you can use paper twist or if you happen to be a weaver you may have some paper core or different things like that around to use. You can use natural or you can use brown, whatever you like. You might even like black or silver with this one. So we're going to undo it and with our gun still on low temp, we're going to glue right around the edge of our stem there. So we kind of stick that out a little bit so it doesn't look like it's just protruding. We kind of got a natural base here and this stem is kind of cattywampus. I'm going to glue the back and glue the stem. Glue it shut. And if you want to do one or if you want to do two stems coming out, I like mine kind of wispy and curvy. But if you even wanted just a fat, chunky one at the end, then just do that. Whatever you feel it should be, go with that. I always kind of like mine kind of wispy and off into a couple different ends instead of just one thing. Now, I didn't like the color of the yellow as much. The gold wasn't too bad. But I think I'm going to go with red. I think I really like the red with the pumpkin as well and I may go back and add the gold glitter to these and on this one I want it kind of standing up and I have a couple red leaves here I'm going to add two and one more little red one the small one I think I'll be happier with the red one so much better than the yellow they just kind of go with the pumpkin a little bit better and I'm going to go ahead and do a floral wire in there and this is in the gold I think it just kind of gives it that little flare kinda classes it up a little bit or something just wrap it around however tight or loose you want to do it and then I'm going to really tuck these end of the wire in so nobody gets poked or hurt or anything like that. And bend that in the middle so we have an anchor. And I'm going to set that right about there. Now I'm going to turn my glue gun to hot and I'm going to put my spiders on. I want three spiders. And these spiders are the wiggly kind. I picked these up at 
um, the Dollar Tree this year, but they look alive. So when somebody moves it, they look like they're alive. And that's really why I like that. And you want them on three different spots. If you want one up on top, that's fine. Or if you'd rather have them each on the webs, go ahead and do that. That's up to you. So I am going to fill his little body up with hot glue this time and set him on and I want to make sure it feels into his body so that he stays on otherwise you're doing a plastic to kind of a plastic and he'd more likely to come off if they do come off then just put them on with the E6000 but I haven't had any problems with mine coming off but you don't want them on their legs because you want their legs nice and wiggly. So, just going to do the one at the bottom, I think. Or maybe up there. Wherever you want it, wherever you think that needs to go. It just seems too much down there. I think I'm going to put him on the stem. I might have moved the other guys down just a bit if I would have thought that I was not going to put one on the bottom. You also can put gold glitter paint on the stem as well. I think I'm going to put a little bit of berry garland right there in the middle of those leaves just to set that off. But see that real creepy feel that you kind of get. If you want to hang this individually, just take your soda can hanger and glue that on so that you have a place to place the nail. I'm going to make three or four of these and I'm going to put them on a Halloween wreath. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Just take it, make it your own, and have fun with it. Make sure you check out our other little half that we're using and kind of adding some swirls and stuff too as well. So just have fun and make it a fun Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube so we can continue to bring you more. Have a safe Halloween.